but we'll start just simply seated. So this is yoga. Um, what kind of yoga? All kinds of yoga. The show up and do yoga kind of yoga. And um, today we are going to just, because we don't have, I say, because we're not doing a class every single day, it's just, again, a nice all over, get the body going and feel good type of practice. So that's my goal for today. And I hope you join along with me in that intention. So sit up tall. We'll get a little bit quiet with the music for a moment. Close the eyes or look down. Rest your hands in just a comfortable place, either on your knees or in your lap. Turn your palms and allow them to face upwards as a symbol that we're open to receiving and whatever comes to us, into our mind, into our body, into our life in this next hour together. And take this time to drop inward, to notice what's going on in this moment inside you, your physical sensations, your breath, also noticing where your mind tends to wander. And there's no judgment here, just noticing, just awareness and witnessing what's going on right here and right now. Let's start taking a deeper breath in through the nose, filling the belly from the bottom to the very top, exhaling out through the nose, slow down that exhale. Every exhale brings your shoulders a little softer. Every inhale brings your posture a little taller. And while we maintain this deep breath and noticing our breath, our body, our thoughts, let's start to take some movement. Draw the chin down to your chest and rock your head side to side, right ear to right shoulder and left ear to left shoulder. And you may make a full rotation or continue just a half circle right to left. Bring your head back up to the center. In a neutral position, you can open the eyes and look over your right shoulder. Check out what's going on behind you and then look over at your left shoulder. Back to the center. With those palms up, inhale, reach up. Connect the hands at the top. Take your hands down to your heart. Press the palms firmly together. Let's do that again. Circle those arms out and up. Reach up. And then bring them down the center. One more time. Out and up. This time twist. Left hand on your knee. Right hand behind you. Look back. Find a few deep breaths in a tall, twisted posture looking back over the right shoulder. And then back to the center, reach up, inhale, and twist to the other side, exhale. A few more breaths in this twist, looking back. So let's do that back and forth a few times, or side to side a few times. Inhale, reach up, connect the hands, really touch them, press them, feel the edges of the arms come alive. Exhale, twist to the side. Inhale, reach up, press the palms together. Exhale, twist. Again, reach up, press, twist. One more time, palms connect, press, 
Exhale, twist, look back. Inhale, reach up, connect those hands and bring them down to your heart. Take a deep breath, thumbs to heart center. Let that go, exhale. Hands come forward, rock onto the hands and the knees. Hands under shoulders and knees underneath the hips. Arch the back, look up. Cat and cow pose, we round the back, look down. Step the chin, find a lot of space in the front and the back of the body, down the spine, up the spine. And then bringing it back to a neutral position, we'll take that right leg straight back. Make sure the hands are spread wide, palms pressing, elbows face back, toes point down. Lift the lower belly up and in to create that long straight line. Left hand reaches forward. Okay. So lifting the leg, lifting the hand, take it a little higher and reach longer, inhale. Exhale, let's take it out to the side, awkward airplane style. Feel the glutes engage and the core. Inhale, forward and back. Exhale out to the side. Inhale, forward and back. One more time, out to the side. Try to get it to shoulder height or hip height. Inhale, forward and back. Now hug the elbow and the knee together. Pull it in. Draw the knee elbow in towards the body. Press into that right hand. Hold it. Keep breathing, squeeze. Then extend and reach long. Let it go with that reach. And then place both hand and the knee down. Switch sides. So left hand anchors. We'll take that left leg back towards the back of the room. Create this nice, long, strong, powerful line down the spine. Reach forward with the right hand like you're shaking someone's hand. Nice to meet you. you take a long inhale. Exhale, we go out to the side with the hand in the foot. Inhale forward and back. Just to feel that little squeeze activation in the glutes. Exhale, out to the side. Forward, back, inhale. One more time, out to the side. Inhale forward and back. Pull the elbow and the knee together. Up and in, tuck the chin. A few breaths as you press into the left hand, round the upper back. And find one more extension, reach it long, inhale. Place the hand and the knee down. Widen the feet, sit back towards the heels and extend the hands forward to child's pose. Feel grounded here, forehead towards the ground. Allowing any stress, anxiety, worry to melt out of the body, out of the head, out of the mind. So we can be in this place here and now. All right, reaching forward, plant the palms down, lift the hips, rounding in the back, shift forward. Shift all the way forward so you're in a modified plank pose. Roll the shoulders back into a little back bend for up dog on the knees. Okay, and look down, we'll take it back to child's pose. So I'll do this little flow here a few times. So child's pose to shifting forward, rounding in the back. When you get to that long plank position, start to lower the hips and roll the shoulders back, chest up. And look down, press back again. I'll do that a few more times. Nice flowing motion. So I'll do that once more, shifting forward, finding that sort of up dog variation or cobra style pose. And we're heading to down dog. So look down, tuck the toes under. Lift the hips up and back, downward facing dog. 
Bend one knee at a time, pressing the heels down, shaking up the head. And slowly walk the feet forward just behind the hands. So you're gonna forward fold, grabbing the elbows, the wrists, wrist grab elbows. Elbows melt towards the ground and we shake out the head again. This is where we sort of relax one more time. Get a little longer, feel the hamstrings lengthen while the head gets heavy. You release your hands down to the floor. Little bend in the knees. Let's keep that right hand down. Left arm reaches up for a twist. You might end up bending that right knee a little more into that twist. And then take that hand, other hand down, top hand down. Left hand stays down, right arm reaches up. Maybe a bend in that left knee. Twist. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, twist, reach up. And down. One more time. Reach up with that right hand. Exhale, folds down. Bend the knees and roll yourself up slowly to a standing pose. Roll the shoulders back. Let's step to the top of the mat. Go Feet together or slightly apart, whatever is most comfortable for mountain pose. Palms forward. Palms forward. Inhale, reach up. Connect those hands, really press, and then bring the hands down to your heart. Do that again, big circle sweep of those arms, sending all the goodness towards the center, pull it in. One more time, reach up. Now we'll forward fold down, take the hands through the heart center as you fold and hinge at the hips to this forward fold with a slight bend in the knees. Lift up halfway, hands on the shins, gazing forward. Exhale, just fold down, release, let go, half sun salutation. Look forward, we rise up, lift up. Connect those hands again, slide them down the center as you fold forward. Getting into more movement, half lift, inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Look forward, rise up, adding on sun salutation A. Let's take the hands down the center again, just a nice little slow journey down. Half lift, inhale. Exhale as you plant the hands down. Step the left foot back first. Left foot back into your lunge. And then the right foot back into your plank. High plank position. Shift forward on the tippy toes or take the knees down. Hug the elbows in. Tricep push up, chaturanga. Press to upward dog or cobra pose. And downward facing dog. Tuck the toes under, lift the hips. And hold there, take a few breaths in your down dog. Find stillness in this down dog. Good, bend the knees, look forward. Exhale, step or jump to the top of the mat. Whichever foot first. Half lift, inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Rise up, inhale, hands to the sky, connect the hands, then bring them down the center, exhale, forward fold. Half lift, inhale, step the right foot back first, keep it even. Plant the hands down, step the left foot back. Take a nice breath as you shift or take the knees down. Exhale, lower, about halfway down. Up dog or cobra, inhale, downward facing dog, exhale. Then take two more nice deep breaths in your down dog. And then we'll look forward, bend the knees, step or jump to the forward fold, top of the mat. Half lift, inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Rise up, inhale, all the way up, mountain pose. As you take your hands down, bend the knees and sit into a chair pose. Good, soft shoulders, adjust as needed. Wiggle those toes a little bit. Start to feel the activation that is 
the quads. It's a work day today, I can tell. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, pull hands together again, but go forward, fold down the body. Half lift, inhale, and step that left foot back. Pause there. Left foot steps back. This is our low lunge, hands are towards the ground. One time we'll rise to a high lunge, reach up. Then the exhale brings you back down. Step back to plank pose. And shift forward, exhale, push up, tricep push up, up dog, or any kind of little back bend. Down and facing dog, exhale. And we'll take that right leg and lift it behind you up towards the sky. Bend the knee as you exhale, step the foot between the hands, low lunge. But this time back heel spins down for warrior stance. Rise up for warrior one, connect the hands. Soften the shoulders. Good, another pressing activation of the hands as you inhale. As you exhale, hands come behind the back, interlace the fingers. Palms pressed together behind you. Shoulders squared up to the front. Might step the foot out a little bit here. Look up and fold down, right shoulder to right knee. Try to keep that right hip in towards the midline of the body, not to pop out to the side. Heels down. And releasing that, we stand up, release, rise, hands up, connect the hands at the top. Bring the hands back down to the floor. Pick up the back heel first, then step back. And you can choose to go straight to down dog or go through our vinyasa flow. A little vinyasa section. We're on to that second side. And simply taking that left leg. No, I'm just kidding. We're not going to do that. We're going to keep it down. Down and facing dog. Hold it there. So we look forward, bend the knee. Bend both knees. Step or hop both feet forward to the top of the mat. We'll do the second side on the second round. Half lift, inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Stand up tall, rise up. Hands to your heart, bend the knees, sit back into chair pose. Okay. I get to twist over to the right side. Take a deep breath in. Left elbow to right knee, twist. A modification and intensification is to open the arms and place the hand on the leg. Either way, you can often get deeper into the twist by pressing into that top hand if your hands are in that prayer position. And releasing the twist, reach up, chair pose. Forward fold, exhale. Half lift, inhale. And step the right foot back into a lunge. Low lunge, hands walk back in line with that left foot. And then rise up, one breath, reach up, connect the hands to the top. Back down, exhale, find balance as you do that. Step back to plank pose. We'll make our way to downward facing dog and the variation that you would like to take. Then you take that left leg and lift it up behind you. Bend the knee, lift the right heel, step the foot between the hand. Back heel spins down. Rise up, warrior one. Connect the hands and press them. Look up or slightly up, not to crank the neck or anything. Keep the shoulders soft. Let's get little knee pops and things. Okay, one more active press for the hand. And exhale, hands behind the back. Opposite thumb on top as you press the palms and knuckles towards the ground. Squeeze the shoulders. Look up, inhale. Exhale, fold forward. Left shoulder to left knee. I'm trying to get the forehead maybe to touch the ground. It won't, but that's the direction. Hug the hips in. And lift the hands, the arms squeezing. Trying to wrap those hands towards the front of the room. Okay. 
And rising back up, release that by standing up, lifting the upper body, hands connect, and the hands come back down to the floor. Step back. And we'll find our down dog, either through a chaturanga up dog or right away down dog. Take a releasing, heat releasing breath. <sighs> Bend the knees, step or hop to the top of the mat. Half lift, exhale, forward fold. Standing up tall, mountain pose, reach up, connect the hands. Bend the knees back to chair pose, hands to the heart. Take a deep breath in, twisting left this time. Exhale, right elbow to left leg. Press into that left palm, look up. And back to the center, release that, inhale, reach up. Forward fold, exhale. Just a half lift. Back to forward fold, but heel toe the feet a little wider. And work that, <laughs> the glutes again, but give it a moment. Um, fold down here, so you can grab the elbows or the big toes and try to get a little farther down. Getting into the hamstrings currently. Shake the head again. Okay, let's try this. Take your right fingertips and uh, peace sign fingers and grab the right big toe. Left hand stays on the ground, either tented fingertips or palm down next to the left foot. And your feet are underneath the hips, press down through the left foot a lot. Right foot lifts about an inch off the floor like you're pulling your your leg, your femur into the hip socket. Uh-huh. And your left leg is doing a lot of stuff there. And it's your left leg you're gonna feel when you do this. We'll take our right foot out to the side, to the right side, open lift, higher. Oh, it might get an inch or two. <laughs> Good thing you're not watching me, because I'm trying this too. <laughs> and we bring it back down. Woo. Release that little fold. And try the other side. So left fingertips around the big toe of the left foot, right hand next to the right foot. Press down strong through the right leg, lift an inch, lift that right, the left leg an inch off the floor. Flex the foot a lot. You can try it. Take the left leg out to the side. Right hip stays over right ankle. Shakiness ensues. And we bring it back down. Take those feet and heel to them a little wider. Toes turn out, bend the knees a lot. Squat down. Ah. Is it just my hips feeling really tight today or how, how are yours doing? Uh, just got to get a little stretch here. Okay. This is not the pose we're in. <laughs> Sometimes you just got to give a little shake out release. Mm -hmm. Good. So in our squat, great place just to have breakfast, have some tea, some coffee. If you ever want to see perfect form in this pose, look at two-year-olds. They're just like, yeah, toys. Like, you will keep that up. Keep that up. We were born flexible. Yes. <laughs> right, hands down to the floor. Lengthen the legs. Heel to the feet closer together. Bend the knees a little bit as you rise up. Open those arms. Reach up. Grab the right wrist. Pull. Lean to the side. Use that left arm as a little pillow as you look up. Just lengthening out of all that forward folds. Switch sides, inhale up, grab the left arm, left wrist, pull, lean to the side, look up. Get a 
rise back up, lift up. Hands to your heart, bring it down. Okay, we ground down through the right foot. Left foot starts to lift. Actually, let's do tree pose, that's a good one. So foot to the inner thigh, anywhere up the leg. So drawing that knee open, hips stay forward. And reach up. You open the arms, feeling like a tree. Look up. We'll just focus our gaze towards the front linear sort of up or down. Okay, and bring those hands back down to the heart, but keep the leg where it's at. So hands stay steady. Press down through the right foot. Let's try this. Left knee comes in. Lift. Yep. Straight up, flex the foot. And then start to hinge forward, sending that left leg back. Keep the right leg straight. And then straighten the left leg as it kicks back, heel towards the back of the room. Or your three with hands in prayer. Good, bend deeply or a little bit, a little bit at a time into that right knee. We're going to send our left leg back into a lunge, step back. Yeah, back heel stays lifted. Take a deep breath in. We get to twist again over to the left side, right side, over that front leg. So then back knee can be up or down. We can just get a little bit deeper by giving us some leverage and pushing into that left arm. Top hand pressing down. If you feel like it, if you'd like to add more or something different, we can open the arms. And then from this twist, back to center. Transitioning slowly, reach up. Back heel spins down, let's open the arms. Back, left hand back, right hand forward, warrior two. So take a look at the back foot, make sure the toes are 90 degrees or a little more forward. Your heel is the farthest point from your body. Good old warrior two. Take one breath, reach up, straighten the leg. The inhale brings you up, exhale, lower back down. You take the hands, interlace them behind the back again. Squeeze the hands together, shoulder squeeze. Left, well, left shoulder's behind you, right shoulder towards the right knee. But staying open, more of a side angle, look up. In our last pose in this sequence, we're gonna open the arms from here, reach the right hand down in front of the right leg, look down, look in front of the right toes, bend the back knee, shift forward, lift off. Stacked hips, half moon. Left hand above right, left shoulder stacked above right. And we're gonna do our best to try this a little bit challenging transition. We have to lift back up, lift back up, do a little rotation, lift the knee back to where it came from. Entry pose, we're back down. <laughs> Ooh, that right leg, or my, my left, but that front one. <sighs> There's our balance series. Other side, left foot grounds down, right foot to the inner thigh or the calf. You can reach up, look up, or practice closing the eyes. Did you close an eye? One, one eye. Ah.
All right, bring the hands down slowly. Hands together, connected. Bring that right leg up, knee up, foot up. Balance. Case at the floor, usually out in front of you, find a focal point. And start to hinge the hips forward as you extend the right leg back. It doesn't have to be in a perfect T. In fact, it's transition more into a lunge, so no need to get way T-like. Keep the toes pointed down. Bend into the left knee. A little more, a little more. Not quite there yet. Then gently step back. Find a crescent lunge where the feet are on railroad tracks. Mm -hmm. Press into the big toe. All toes actually helps. Twist in that way. Take a deep breath in. <gasps> Exhale, let it go. Find space to twist. Right elbow to right to left leg. And back knee can, again, down or up. You can work that prayer twist or open the arms. Deeper twist. And release that, reach up, back knee comes up, uh, yep. <laughs> open up the opposite way, left hand forward, right hand back, adjusting the feet so the back heels down, straight leg, bent left knee, warrior two, find your gaze directly over the left fingers. Flip the palms, straighten the leg, inhale, reach up. Bend a little deeper, exhale, hands down, shoulder height. Interlace those hands behind you. Palms down, lift the chest, lean so the left shoulder goes towards the left leg. You might feel your hips adjust a little to support that. Squeezing the heels together. All right, then look down, open up those arms, bend the back knee, shift, 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 shimmy forward, left hand in front of the left toes, lift the back leg, stack the joints and open the body, half moon. We do a little transition. So the right hand comes down, hip drops down, reach up, rise up, lift the knee. All the way up to standing. Tree pose. So that little transition from knee up to half moon. Whew, we'll only do it once. It's like, let's go back and forth 10 times. We'll do that in a power class. I'll do that tonight, 6 p.m. class. Oh, let it go. Roll the ankle a few times. I know, getting kind of warm. <laughs> Again, I think I chose the wrong long sleeves. <laughs> How well. Ah, okay, back to mountain pose. Stable, strong, ready to come down. We reach up, exhale, forward fold. Everything gets even out here. Half lift, inhale. Step back to plank pose. Plant the hands down, walk the feet back, shifting forward. And lower to your belly all the way down. Good, reach the hands back, feet together. Lift the hands, lift the shoulders, lift the chest, and lift the legs. Put everything squeeze inward. And lower this one down, just taking the hands, stacking them on top of each other, and forehead comes down. Okay. 
Good, lifting back up. We'll do one leg at a time. Bend the right knee, reach back, find the ankle. Left hand forward. Press the left foot into the floor and press the foot in, the right foot into the right hand. So the knee lifts up. Then hover, left hand, reach it. Left hand, right hand. <sighs> Rights and lefts. It's a complicated world being a yoga teacher. <laughs> The extended arm. Okay, the foot that you're grabbing onto, lift a little higher. And then let it go. Make sure you're breathing too. Other side, left knee bends, reach back, find the left foot, the ankle, right arm forward. Press into that hand so the knee lifts and then hover the front arm. No single leg chaturangas today. Sorry. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> you lower back down. Hands. Or a head on your hands. And then bend both knees. If you'd like to grab both feet, you can do one at a time and then reach for it or grab them at the same time, however that works. Big toes touch, knees stay hip distance, press into the hands and lift up. Breathing, right? Okay. <laughs> Feel the rocking sensation. <laughs> All right, let it go. Child's pose, sit back slowly. Take your time to get there. In the future, this is where I come around to give everyone a nice little gentle press on their lower backs. Good, and slowly you're gonna roll yourself up so, well, you're sitting on your heels for a moment, and then you'll bring the legs around. Feet forward, feet forward. Nice and tall. Let's take the feet about hip distance, hands behind your back. One more time with a little back bend style. Press the feet down, lift the hips, reverse plank. Not plank, reverse tabletop. And then slowly lower that one down. You can actually bring your hips through the hands and sit. There we go. Feet together, heels extended. Reach up, exhale, fold forward, reach forward. Okay, walk those hands back up. We'll take the feet together, knees open wide. Hold on to those feet. 
Lift and inhale, hug the elbows in, exhale, bring it forward and down. And slowly lift that up. Knees come up. Okay, again, toes, well, wherever. Toes can come to the top of the mat, but we'll actually do pigeon pose from here where you grab the right leg. Left hand goes under, grabs the right leg, pulls it under. Left leg does a little loop-de-loop -loop around. Then we roll onto that you know, long leg side hip. Extend the leg, take that deep breath, inhale. And slowly walking it forward. Finding a comfortable and sensation filled place. Can we relax even though there's a lot going on? Relax into that sensation. And if there's not enough yet to make you feel, then you just walk that heel, that front heel or ankle, a little farther away from your body. And we are welcome to stay in this place, or if you'd like to add a twist, the left forearm stays down. Reach back with the left, the right hand, or even press the right hand, just somehow twist towards that front knee. You can even take the back foot, bend it, grab and reach with that right hand. One last option as a twist is to really to thread the needle. The so left arm reaches, Right hands down. It really forces that long leg to get down to feel into the hip. Then release that twist. Come down for a couple more breaths into a regular low pigeon. And slowly walking yourself back up, lift up. Lean to the right, bring that leg around. Give this leg a little windshield wiper action. And we do the other side. So grab the left ankle, pull it under. Knee stays in line with the left shoulder. Right leg around. Now feel it a little bit, wiggle around. And we start to walk down. Thank you. 
Adding those twist options if you would want to keep it even or do it on the side. So twisting towards that front knee, maybe coming onto the right forearm. And back to the center, release that twist for a couple more breaths at the bottom. And then rise back up, lift, walk the hands under the shoulders, lean to the left side, bring the right leg around. Do a little shake out. Shake, shake, shake. Take the legs wide. Ooh. Ah, wide legs. Okay, just a little bit of the opposite going on here, so take it slow. Okay, take a deep breath in. We'll start a little hinging forward process, inching the fingers forward. Does not have to be too far or far at all. Activate through the heels, like you're trying to press the knees down. Toes lifted. And then lifting back up. Yeah, that was a pretty quick one. Bend the knees and bring the toes now to the top of the mat where we will, where we will roll down. Reach forward, tuck the chin, slow roll down to the ground. And when you get there, just a simple hug of the knees, rocking side to side. We're making circles in that lower back. And then place the feet down on the floor, about hip distance, bent knees. One bridge pose, palms down next to the heels. Lift the hips, squeeze the shoulders together. You can interlace the fingers or even make a, a shelf with your hands for your bridge pose. Or stay in that place that feels comfortable. And sort of relaxing. And then slowly lower down out of bridge pose. Hips down, low back down. Legs will go straight up. 
Feet above the hips in L shape, also known as legs up the wall without a wall. Bend the knees a little bit here. Hug the knees in. Then take both legs down to the right side. Use your right hand to guide the legs across. If you like to hook the legs or you know, lift the top leg a little higher, you can. Just find that twist where the left arm's extended, left shoulder stays down and anchored. I bring the legs back to the center, back lifted, give them a little squeeze in, and the twist to the other side. And then bring the legs back up to the top. Hug those knees in. Again, little rock side to side, giving your lower back a massage. Then place the feet down, feet together on the middle of the mat, knees bent. Open the knees out to the side. And just let the weight of gravity open the hips, knees fall down towards both sides of the mat. And reconnect with your breath, the sensations you're feeling in the body. Reconnect with the thoughts floating in and out of your mind. In this moment, whatever that might be. And then take those knees together. One more knee squeeze or grab the feet for happy baby pose. A little bit of movement here and there. And then our last longer holding pose. We've got Shavasana. You lay back, let the body Relax, the mind wander without attachment. We let go and we surrender. So the breath comes in naturally. And enjoy these few minutes of peace, silence, for the most part, with some nice background music. A place where we can try to not try.
All right, start to take a deep breath in. Wiggle those fingers, those toes. And take a long stretch reaching back behind you. And gently roll onto your side. And use that pose to transition into a seated pose. Pressing back into the hand, lift up, nice and tall like we began. Reach those hands up, inhale, connect the hands, bring them to your hearts, press them in, seal it all in, take one more deep breath. Ah, oh, let it go. Thank you so much for joining for this Wednesday news yoga practice. Have a great day. Namaste.